Cryptocurrencies are a new kind of money. They live only on computers. You cannot hold them in your hand like coins or cash. Bitcoin is the most famous example, but there are thousands of others too. Regular money, like dollars or euros, is managed by banks and governments. Cryptocurrencies are different. No one person or company controls them. Instead, they are shared by many people around the world. Transactions happen quickly, and you can send money anywhere at any time. These digital coins use mathematics to keep things safe. When you send a cryptocurrency, your transaction is checked by computers. This makes it hard for anyone to cheat or create fake coins. That's why many people trust cryptocurrencies, even though there is no bank in charge. Cryptocurrencies matter because they give people more control over their own money. They also let anyone take part, even if they do not have a bank account. This opens up new possibilities for people everywhere. At the heart of every cryptocurrency is something called a blockchain. Think of it like a digital notebook. This notebook keeps a record of every transaction line by line. Every time someone sends or receives coins, it is written down in this notebook. But here's the clever part. The blockchain notebook is not stored in one place. Copies exist all around the world on many computers. If someone tries to change one copy, it won't match the others. This makes it almost impossible to cheat. Each page in the notebook is called a block. When one page is full of transactions, a new page is started. These pages are linked together one after the other in a chain. That's why it's called a blockchain. This system helps everyone agree on what really happened. If you send money to a friend, everyone can see that it happened. No one can erase or change the history. This keeps your money safe and honest. New cryptocurrencies do not just appear out of thin air. They are created through a process called mining. Mining is like a big math contest that happens on computers. Anyone with the right computer can join. Here's how it works. Imagine you and your friends are racing to solve a tough puzzle. The first one to solve it gets a prize. In the world of cryptocurrencies, computers race to solve puzzles. When a computer solves the puzzle, it gets to add a new block to the blockchain. As a reward, the computer earns new coins. This is called proof of work because the computer has to show it did the work. Mining does two things. First, it creates new coins. Second, it checks that everyone follows the rules. Computers make sure no one tries to spend the same coin twice. If the rules are not followed, the transaction is not added to the blockchain. But mining uses a lot of electricity. The puzzles are hard on purpose. This keeps the network safe from cheats, but it also means mining takes a lot of power. That is why people are looking for new ways to create coins. Not all cryptocurrencies use mining. Some use a system called proof of stake. This method does not need lots of electricity or fast computers. Instead, people who already own coins help keep things safe. Imagine a lottery, but only people who own coins can buy tickets. The more coins you have, the more tickets you get. Every so often, a winner is picked at random. The winner gets to add a new block to the blockchain and earn some new coins as a prize. This is proof of stake. Proof of stake is quieter and uses less energy than mining. It is like asking everyone to take turns instead of racing. This makes it easier for more people to join in, even if they do not have special computers. Other systems also exist like proof of authority or proof of space. Each one tries to be fair and safe in its own way, but the goal is the same, to add new coins and keep the network honest. People create cryptocurrencies for many reasons. One big reason is freedom. With regular money, banks and governments can control who can use it. They can freeze accounts or block payments, with cryptocurrencies anyone with a phone or computer can use them anytime. Cryptocurrencies also help people who do not have bank accounts. In some countries banks are too far away, or people do not trust them. Digital coins let anyone join the world economy, even if they live in a small village. Another problem cryptocurrencies solve is fake money. Because of the blockchain everyone can check that coins are real. No one can make extra coins or spend the same coin twice. The system is built to be open and honest. Finally, people like to create new coins to try new ideas. Some coins are made for fast payments, others help with games or online communities. Each new cryptocurrency tries to do something different or better than the last one. Let's remember the main steps. First, cryptocurrencies are digital money you use on the internet. They are not printed like cash, instead, they are made by computers following special rules. Second, every transaction is written in a digital notebook called a blockchain. This record is shared everywhere and is almost impossible to change. It keeps everyone honest and safe. Third, new coins are born through mining or proof of stake. Mining is like a race to solve puzzles. 
while proof of stake is more like a lottery. Both ways help create coins and protect the network. Finally, people create cryptocurrencies to give everyone more freedom and control. They help people send money fast, avoid cheats, and join the global economy no matter who they are or where they live.